Let's learn the if function quickly by looking at some sample Twitter data that we have here. So if you'll notice, I have a bunch of tweets from Noah and a couple other folks. Uh, we have the tweet text, we have their favorites and count of retweets. First, let's just look at the basic logic of if. So the way it works is the first clause of an if function is what's your conditional? What's your logic here? So we're saying if cell G5 is greater than zero. So if we're saying if this tweet has retweets, then you say, if it's true, say has retweets, that you're set, that's your second clause. And if it's false, run the third clause. So, so say no retweets. So what you see when you run this, if G5 is greater than zero, it has no retweets because there are not retweets. So if we change the retweets here to two, we'll say has retweets. So that's the if function in a nutshell. It lets you run something if it's true and run something else if this condition is false. Let's dive into the VLOOKUP formula using this same sample Twitter data. So VLOOKUP allows you to look into a range of data, like we have here, our tweets, and pull out the first value that equals your lookup value. So in this case, we're saying lookup Noah Kagan, so that's handle in column C. It always needs to be in the first column of the data set that you're looking at. In C through G9, so we're just looking at this row, these rows of, of tweets, and then pull out the third column. So we want the third column over from when you find Noah Kagan. And zero just means you want an exact match for Noah Kagan. So what this does is looks up Noah Kagan and takes the third column. So you'll see when we run this, it pulls out article I enjoyed, Supreme and the Bot Makers, yada yada, whatever Noah said on that day. But what if we wanted to pull the, say like the fourth column here, the number of favorites for that tweet? We would just change the column number to four and you'd see it would pull in the number of favorites. So hopefully that gives you an understanding for how VLOOKUP works. Lastly, let's dig into how the query function would work. So basically what query does is allows you to take this big table of tweets, not that big, it's only five rows or so, but, and summarize it. So allow you to do things like do some of favorites or retweets, average favorites or retweets, count the number of tweets um, on a given day or for a given handle, and just kind of slice and dice this data in any way that you want to. So for example, if we wanted to end up with a count of tweets and a sum of retweets for all of Noah's tweets here, we would use query to do that. And let's, let's dive into how this, the language works here. So the first clause of query is just your data range. So that's B49 and that's just the range of this table here. The last element says, do you have a header column? So one means yes, you have one header column. So that'll pull in the names of these columns and name our, our own columns. And the middle clause here is the actual text of the query. So what we're saying here, select C, select the handle, so we're gonna sort by handle here, group by handle rather. We want the count of E, so we want the number of tweets here. We could count any column and we would just get the count of, of tweets. And we want the sum of G, so we want the sum of retweets, where C equals Noah Kagan. So the handle here, column C, equals Noah Kagan. And then we wanna group by C, because we wanna put all, we don't just wanna pull the tweets, we wanna put them all together and aggregate the sum of their retweets and the count of how many texts there are. So when we actually do that, you can see that we have the handle, Noah Kagan, we have the count of E, we have three tweets here, one, two, three, and we have the sum of all the retweets. We can see there's only one retweet there. Must have been a, a weekday on Twitter for Noah. That's the basic gist of the query function. There's a lot, a lot to do to learn the different nuances of the query function and how you can use it in your reports, but hopefully you get the hang of it.